Green Paddle. Um, you'll be thankful to know I'm not a journalist. Um, I'm actually a vehicle development director for a disruptive uh, EV company that's based in Sweden. We made the decision a few months ago to move our entire R&D um, activities and a pilot production plant here to the UK, meaning millions of investment over the coming years and new jobs to benefit UK PLC. The hub of innovation in automotive engineering, education and technologies around the Silverstone Technology Cluster and the Midlands at, at large embraces Industry 4.0. I think everyone needs to be aware of the current issues that we're facing, not just the big one that begins with a capital B. The environmental challenges and issues with climate change and actual effects on health has no borders, no taxation. What I'd like to know is how will the UK help to join up the dots with the rest of the world to embrace more disruptive companies to bring their industries here to the UK when our biggest concerns are how we can import and export goods over borders to enable our company's vision for sustainable transport and leading technologies being developed here in new energy vehicles and autonomy. I have a little saying of disrupt or die. And I think we're in a case here in the UK where we have so much technology and so much innovation. There are plenty of good news stories, but unfortunately they're just not making it to the press. Well, there are some of the press here who might like to pick up on your good news, uh, good news story. First of all, great, thank you for the confidence that you're showing in the UK. And what you've picked up there is, of course, if you look at our modern industrial strategy, that whole uh, question of mobility in the future, or, uh, of the real uh, leading edge that we have as a United Kingdom, is, is going to be crucial for our future and very important to us, as is clean growth. And I think that for too much in the past, there's been this idea that actually you couldn't have a care for the environment, you couldn't look for clean growth, that would automatically damage the economy. Actually, no, you can do both together. And it's innovative technologies and innovative industries like you're uh, uh, talking about that show that you can do that together. And of course, as I've said in answer to other questions, I'm conscious about the issue of transporting goods across borders and trying to make sure that that is uh, as easy as possible, particularly obviously in relation to the European Union. But within our modern industrial strategy, it's exactly what we want to do, is ensure the UK is at the forefront of those great grand challenges that not just the UK, but the world faces. And mobility and clean growth are two of those. Thank you.